In this lecture, we talk about field extensions. So a field E is extension field of some base field F. If we have an inclusion map like this, where F sits inside E, so this map is injective. So F sits inside E, and E is a vector space over F. So let us see some examples. So say complex numbers is a vector space over real numbers, and elements are of the form A plus IB, where I is square root of minus one, and A and B are real numbers. So the basis here is one comma I over R. So again, this I is nothing but square root of minus one. So R is a vector space over rationals. This uh, root two adjoined to rationals is a vector space over rationals. Again, the elements of this are of the form A plus root two times B, where A and B are rational numbers. Basis here is one comma root two. So dimension of E over F, the space field F, is called the degree of extension, and we write it as E this F. So C is to R is two. Again, the basis is one comma I. This rationals are joined with complex number I over rationals is two. Here the basis is one comma I again. R is to Q is infinite because Q is countable and R is uncountable. So f of x over f is infinite because here the base you can take as one x x square and so on. Q root two over Q is two again the base is one comma root two. So now the multiplicative property of degree of extensions. So say k is extension field over f. Then k over e times e over f is k is to f. So the way we write it like this. So you have a base field f, and you have an extension field k. So now you have an intermediate field e. So you have f. You go to e. And then from E you go to K. So you have some degree of extension here, and you have degrees of extension here. So say this is n. That is, E over F is n, and then K over E is m. Then K over F is m times n. So the proof is very simple. So say E is to F is generated by this vector space U i. So dimension of it this is n. K is to E is generated by a bunch of these vectors v j. Dimension is m. Then K is to F. It is generated by of the vectors of the form u i times v j, which is m times n. So an important remark is that irreducible polynomials are maximal for our case. You know, in in a ring like this, f of x, where f is a field. The reason for this is very simple, because say if it is not maximal, the polynomial is not maximal, then it has to be generated by a polynomial of a lesser degree, which will contradict irreducibility. So, the definition of irreducibility automatically implies it is maximal, because otherwise we will have to generate it with a polynomial of lesser degree. So, an important theorem is Kronecker's theorem. So, this says. Every irreducible polynomial, where f is a field lying in f of x, it has a zero in a extension field. So this is how you construct the extension field. You have this, and then you modulo out this. So this is a maximal ideal, and therefore you will get a field here. So f is often taken as monic. That means the leading coefficient is one. So the leading coefficient is one. So if the degree of f is m, then e is to f is also m. So degree of f is m, then e is to f is m. So you can see this that the basis for this is given as one x bar x bar square all the way to x bar m minus one. So you can count them. This is m of them. Now we are saying that. This irreducible polynomial f of x it has a zero in an extension field. So what is the zero in this extension field? So zero in the extension field is just x bar, which is what you get if you modulo out here x 
plus our coefficient f of x so this is x bar so this is our zero and this is obvious you know you can plug it back into the polynomial and you will get a zero so let us see an example so say f of x is given as x squared plus one and your field is uh, q of x so your f of x here is q of x and this is x squared plus one so extension field would be q of x and then you modulo out the ideal generated by x squared plus one so the zero is given as x bar x plus x squared plus one and check off check it you plug this in so instead of x you are plugging this in so whatever terms will have x squared plus one will get absorbed in the ideal so only thing you're left with is x square and then you get plus one so x squared plus one will get absorbed into this which is equivalent to zero so instead of this you can have any polynomial so if any polynomial you have say its leading term is axn this axn would become a of x plus whatever your irreducible polynomial was to the power of n and the only thing you get out of this is axn because this will again become something like this and you keep collecting such terms you ultimately get the polynomial f of x which will get uh, absorbed in the ideal so we have constructed a root but we do not know what the root is we are just saying you know that root exists in some extension field which we define like this so say if you have a root you already know what the root is so root of the polynomial is f of a equals to zero and your extension field e which is precisely this this is given as this f of x and you modulo out the ideal generated by your irreducible polynomial so this you write as f of x bar so this will be iso to f of a and this isomorphism is constructed by just sending x bar to a and a to x bar so if you have f of b is another such field such that f of b is zero so b is another zero then you have an isomorphism between a and b so this f of a would be same as f of b so something like unique up to isomorphism because then you can interchange a and b send a to b and b to a and you have another isomorphism